Well, here's a, something a little different that I've been tinkering with the um, last few days. Uh, this this uh, man cave wasn't always a man cave. This was my dad's uh, lawnmower repair shop when I was growing up as a child. So I was always around things like this. Now, these are dinosaurs. I mean, these, these are some old, old engines. And I was just looking on here. I don't know how well that's going to show. But I think that that's uh, a make date of 21347. This is an old Clinton motor. Well, I come out here last night. I've had these motors um, a lot of years. I've had them mounted on this board, just more of a decoration. And I got thinking, you know, I got to see if those things run. So um, next to it is a old Briggs and Stratton engine that I think could be from the 40s also. And this thing is just, you know, really, really weathered. But, you know, they looked to me like they were in sort of good running condition. Um, it's an old Briggs and Stratton. Of course, notice that they don't have starters like what our modern engines do. You had to wrap a uh, cord of rope with a handle around it, so it was easy to make a starter back in those days. But anyway, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you that I've succeeded in getting these things to run. Um, the old Clinton's pretty cool. I didn't have a way to shut it off, so I had to turn the gas off, so I made this little uh, piece right here so that when you push it against the spark plug it shorts it out and, and it stops and, and you don't get a shock unless your finger slips off and you hit something. Um, I love the old tank on this girl. I had to make a new gasket for the cap because it was splashing gas up through it and uh, that's about the only thing I had to do to this one other than put some nice fresh gas in there. Now I don't even know how this carburetor works because where's the air intake? All I see is gas going in there. Of course my father uh, didn't always have a muffler on hand, so he'd take a piece of pipe and cut it off and make a muffler out of that. I think this one here was possibly on an old Rio type mower. You know, the kind that uh, had a reel in the front and, and it turned. It used to have them uh, unpowered at first. And uh, what we'll do is we'll start this one first and see how it runs. And then uh, I'll turn it off. And we'll fire up that old Clinton. So I'm going to put this camera up here on the tripod and you'll see just what I have to do to start these little buggers. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. That's not too bad of you right there. Okay. Well, let's uh, give this one a tug here. Now, if it doesn't start the first thing, I did find that there is a choke right here. Let's see what it does. Yep, we're going to have to choke it. So you got to wrap this, this rope. Looks like old clothesline that my dad probably took from my mom. Okay, let's give it a try now. Hey, look at that. It came to life. And I'll tell you what, it sounds pretty good. It spurs them right off just like a brand new motor. Probably better. I'm still amazed I don't get shocked when I do that, but that's just the way they were. Okay, let's get this guy cranked up. Okay, let's see if this will start without any uh, extra stuff.
things impress simple minds, I guess I'm right there. So let's test this out, see if this works really good for killing this. Hey, I think I got a winner. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my roots a little bit. I started out as a lawnmower repairman, small engine man. I've always been able to fix these little buggers. They're a lot easier to work on uh, during those times back in the 60s and early 70s than they are now because everything's computerized, electronic, ignition, all that crap. I mean, if it doesn't get gas, well, I know how to fix that. If it doesn't get spark, I know how to adjust the points, clean them, so, so on. Pretty simple to take apart. So I just wanted to share with you uh, one of my latest adventures. Um, like I said, I've had these in storage probably 10 to 15 years here in my man cave. And just last night I got looking at them and I thought, I'm going to try to make these work. So that's it for, for now from the man cave. Anything else cool comes up, I'll be sure to show you. And uh, as I've always said, there will always be more. And by the way, um, this in no means is to be interpreted that I support any uh, political candidates by that name. So I just wanted to make that clear. Ha, ha, ha.